Republican Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, is proving more and more, pretty much every time she goes out in public, that she is completely incapable of any kind of empathy, of any kind of introspection. I mean, true sociopathic behavior. And we got another great example of it this week when a reporter asked her, a reporter from the Atlanta Journal Constitution, asked her about the deaths that were being caused in the United States from COVID. You know, and this was basically in response to uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene saying earlier in the week that the only people who have to worry about COVID are the obese and the elderly. The reporter pointed out, well, that's not true. And here's how Marjorie Taylor Greene responded. Take a look. I'll let the clip speak for itself. Here it is. It's dangerous. Do you feel any responsibility for keeping people in Georgia safe? You know, there are children, skinny people who have died of the coronavirus. Do you feel any responsibility? <laughs> Tia, you cracked me up. Um, you know what? I think people's responsibility is their own. <sighs> you know, there's times when sometimes there's nothing to say. I've struggled coming up with a response for this. I know what I'd like to say. I also know that, um, thanks to restrictions on, you know, YouTube's terms of service, I can't say those things out loud. I'm thinking them. I hope everybody understands that, man, I'm thinking it right now, but truly this is psychopathic behavior. Hey, you're out there actively encouraging people to not protect themselves against the virus. What do you think of that? <laughs> That's crazy. A sane individual wouldn't respond that way, especially considering the fact that what's got everybody on edge right now is you had a perfectly healthy five-year-old child, obviously not vaccinated because we don't have vaccines for that age group yet, perfectly healthy five-year-old child in her district died from COVID. And this is her response, laughing, laughing. <laughs> you crack me up, she says. This is deranged. I want that clip played in every single ad that Democrats run between now and the 2020 midterm election. I don't care who you're running against. I don't care where you're running. I don't care what office you're running for. I want you to run that clip in every single friggin' ad because that's what needs to happen because Marjorie Taylor Greene is the Republican party now. That's what they have become. That is the worst of the worst. And that is what is being promoted as today's Republican party. So she needs to be the face of it. She's the face of COVID at this point, but Democrats need to do what Republicans have been doing, trying to say the entire Republic or entire democratic party is AOC. They're all socialists and they want to destroy it. No, 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 no. Paint the entire Republican party as Marjorie Taylor Greens. Play that clip. Maybe juxtapose it with an image of the five-year-old child who's now dead in her district. I am angry. You should be angry. And we need to understand there's very few sane people throughout history, few if any, honestly, that would react to that question by laughing. In my opinion, this woman is not well. She should not be in normal society. She is, again, in my opinion, absolutely deranged and needs to be in a padded room until she can either be cured or until she's no longer a threat. That's, that's what I believe about Marjorie Taylor Greene. You don't react that way if everything is perfectly normal inside your head. But that's what she did. And Democrats need to get on it and make her the face of the Republican party from now till the end of time, because that's what they stand for.